Good evening, guys. Welcome back to Maths with Mr. Sa. Um, as you see from the background, in this video, we'll be learning a little bit about how to find area of an irregular shape or irregular shapes. So, if you take a look at this question on the left hand side, you will see that without um, splitting this big figure into small figures, it'll be really hard to uh, find the area of it. So, what I will be doing now is I will be splitting this into a few figures now. Now, if you take a look at this, if I draw a line right there, let me see. Okay, if I draw a line right there, uh, figure A is a trapezium or a trapezoid. Okay, guys, and so there'll be totally uh, there'll be consisting of three figures that we have to find in order to find the full area of this irregular shape now and figure b would be this one let me maybe change the color this would be figure b figure b and figure c would be this one this small little triangle over here okay guys so first things first let us solve for figure a so figure A, we know that it's a trapezoid, and the formula to find the area of a trapezoid is 1 over 2 multiplied by the sum of parallel sides. So sum of parallel sides, and this multiplied by the height. Okay, guys, it's pretty straightforward. So what do we have here? We know that parallel side number 1 is 25 and parallel side number 2 here, which is 15 from here, right, guys? So we see that this is 15. Therefore, this will also be 15 centimeter. So what do we have here? We have 1 over 2 multiplied by sum of parallel sides. Sum means we add both of them. So we have 25 plus 15 and multiplied by the height and the height here is now if you take a look at this we know that the whole height of this figure is 20 right we need only from here all the way to here this is the height right guys we know this one is adding up to 8 this is 8 centimeter the whole thing is 20 so the height of the trapezoid will be 20 minus 8, which is 12. Does that make sense, guys? We know that the whole thing is 20. We know all of this is 20, right? We know till here, going up to down here, this is 8 centimeter. So, of course, from here, going down here should be 12 centimeter. All right, guys, now we can find the area of the trapezoid. So what do we have? We have 1 over 2 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 12. All right, guys, and of course, we can simplify this if you want. 2 will change to 1, 12 will change to 6, and 40 multiplied by 6 is 240 centimeter square. All right, guys, the units in this uh, in this question, all are centimeters. Now let us go to figure number B. Figure B is pretty straightforward. We know that it is a rectangle, right? We know that figure B is a rectangle where the length is 15 and the height is 8, right, guys? So we know the length is 15 cm and the height or the width is. 8 cm right guys so what do we have here figure b is a rectangle so in order to find the area of a rectangle we take the length and multiply it by its width so we would have 15 multiplied by 8 and 15 multiplied by 8 will give us 120 centimeters square right guys so um, figure A, trapezoid, we found the area. Figure B is a rectangle, we found the area. Now, 
The reason we have to find for figure C is when we talk about figure B, we are calculating the whole area of figure B, which is all of this. But of course, this small little area here, if you take a look at this, this area is excluded. This area is excluded. That means we don't need them. So step C would be is to find the area of this triangle, right guys? Figure C is to find the area of the triangle. Now for the triangle, we know the base is 3 cm and the height is 8 cm. And how do we find the area of a triangle is half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height. Right guys? Now we know the base is 3 cm, so we have half times 3 multiplied by and the height is 8 so multiplied by 8 and we can simplify this which would give us 12 centimeter square okay, guys so now what we are going to do in order to find the area of figure b we are going to take the area of the whole rectangle and minus it with the area of the triangle so full of figure b figure b will be 120 centimeter square minus 12 centimeter square right guys because when you take a look at figure b we only want this area we only want this area here right we don't want the area in which the triangle is at so that's why we are taking the area of the rectangle and subtracting it with the area of the triangle and of course 120 minus 12 would give us 108 centimeter square okay guys so this is all we need so we have figure a which is 240 centimeter square figure a is the trapezoid so we know this is 240 centimeter square and we know that figure b is 108 so total area let me maybe change the color so total area would be the trapezoid to see it i will try to draw it as best as possible trapezoid plus this rectangle we have here There we go, which looks something like that. Change it. There we go. Yes, guys. So we know that the trapezoid is 240 centimeters square plus this one, which consists only of this area, which we figured just now, is 108 centimeters square. And 240 centimeter square plus 108 centimeter square would give us 348 centimeter square. All right, guys. So, what did we do here? Step number one, we changed the irregular shape into regular shapes. So, we had a trapezoid and we had a rectangle and a triangle. So for figure number A, we could straight away find the area of the trapezoid using its formula. For figure number B, we found the area of the rectangle and we took the area of the triangle and subtracted it with it to find the area of figure B in all. That makes any sense. And the total area would be figure A plus figure B, which gave us the total area. Okay, guys, hope this video helped you out and hope you enjoyed from it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to learn more from me. Alright guys, until next time, have a nice day.